Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today's Mainstream Monday is Julie G's Karma, and I'm going to put some foils on it. I've already got my belt and my base down, and it's Neltique's Formula 2. And here is Julie G's Karma. There it is, real tiny. And then I've um, topped it off with Posh Top Coat to get it to dry down. And next I'll be using some foil glue and some foils that I got from Beauty Big Bang. And I've already got it cut into pieces and I got it laying flat to where I know which side is the foil side because it's kind of tricky sometimes. So I am applying a thin, even layer of this nail foil glue, a little bit of streakiness to it, but it's still pretty, pretty smooth. And hello, Woody, come hop in and get that glue off of there. And this stuff is drying pretty quick. So we're going to hop on in on these first fingers and go ahead and get started. And I'm just rubbing it down with my finger first. And then I'm going to get out my little rubberized cuticle pusher that I got at Sally's. It's pretty soft and, you know, I decided to go ahead and use it today. And this is just to ensure that, you know, I've actually mushed it down over all of the nail and I'm not missing any spots with the design. Been a minute since I played with some foil, so I thought I would break some out today. And that stuff is so blingy, the camera's like, what? <laughs> and there's going to be a few instances of that in this video, and I apologize, but it's the Nature of Hollow. Now, I'd already touched it to the nail, so I'm having to line it up because a little bitty piece of it did stick to the nail. And I do a pretty good job of lining it up, and we're doing the same thing on this nail as we did on the first one. Rubbing it with our finger first, and then going in with, you know, you can do this with an orange wood stick or a cuticle pusher, or you can just keep doing it with your finger. You know, it works fine. Um... But since I have these tools, I try to remember to use them when I, when I think of it. And you just pull that off there and look at that. Loving it. Love the hollow. And I love these decals. They're, um, and I've sped this part up quite a bit because, you know, you've already seen me do two nails. So it's the same process for all of them. But I like these foils over like regular foils because they're designs and there are empty spaces so if it didn't take to the whole nail it's not such a big deal you know it's, it's so busy and blingy that really you're not going to notice if one little bitty piece didn't adhere to the nail good so i'm loving that and here we are and a whole bunch of them came in that pack i mean it was like ridiculous amounts of sheets of them no telling how many manicures you could get out of one of those packs. So there we go. Very minimal cleanup. And today I'm going to top it with Unt Ready for Takeoff. It's the Peel Off Base Coat, but it is water-based. So it works really well for, you know, a top coat over these foils. And I use it first and let it dry down all the way. And then I top my manicure off with a regular you know, top coat. And in my case, it'll be the posh fast dry top coat. But this, using the unt, it keeps those foils from wrinkling or puckering or getting distorted looking. Because you don't want to go to all this work and, and have them all crinkle cracked looking. I've done that before. Not near as nice of effect. So, we're going to get this unt, just one, one layer of it, over all of them. And I'm going to dry this completely. Fantastic. And now I'm covering this over with my posh top coat. Here we go. Very nice. Seal it all in. Make sure it stays put. And I just, I love playing with these. It just takes just a regular manicure and just throws it into a whole nother level. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I'd love for you to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And here is my swatch photo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.